Hello everyone, this is the Wayne and Sue Chapman and Bob and Yvonne Rowe auction for May 4th. It's the second video. My wife is sending me sign language here. Peace, honey. Peace. Okay. <laughs> Rock Falls, Iowa. Uh, by the way, this is a live auction. You can come to the auction. I'll be up there calling bids. You can bid on the internet uh, during the auction and uh, you can... Um, do live phone bids on items over if over 500 bucks. How that works, just so you know, is that if you want to be on the phone live phone bidding, you must bid up to $500. So that's kind of how we do that. Okay, we're going to start on lot number 61, and we're going to go to lot number 120. First item is a Whiting Tiger Crane Enamel Sign. I'm not sure if these were on the sides of the crane or what they were, but... It's very large. Very large. Um, it's got it? the... Let me get that mark right down there. There we go. The maker okay. right there. Kind of a neat sign. Good enamel sign. Let me set that right back down. All right, next lot. Heat contains vitamin B, folks. All right, nice little advertising sign. Really good. Here's a early Cracker Jack tin. Coconut corn crisps. All right, get in some primitives here. Really nice chair here. This chair here's got advertising on it. Compliments of Maddox, Ellison and Company, furniture dealers, Fort, Fort Worth, Texas. Really nice little sign, or little chair. Okay, great little washboards. Uh, you can do it on both sides. And just flip this over to keep your water from splashing on things, I guess. Not sure why they did that, but you know, whatever. And another great washboard, convex here. All right, great little washboard. Okay, we're gonna get into some more Roseville Juvenile. Here's a Santa Creamer or Pitcher. Really nice, great condition. Sitting bear? Uh, bear. It's just, just called bear. bear. Here's a bowl and a plate. Now these here are not marked. I think the older, this stuff is a little older maybe? I don't know. Seems Could that be. way. Here's bear, a little creamer. Here is a bear side pour. Anyway, just to the sign there. Oh, right here. Oh. Yep. Okay, here's an egg cup. This one is marked. I'll bet all these will be marked here. Here's a picture. And that's called rabbit. Called rabbit. There's your mark. Yep. Ears are back. Here's another different picture. A little creamer, maybe. We're no experts on this stuff, but we did our best. So here's a plate and a child's plate and a mug here. So they're both marked, I believe. All right, here's a piece that a lot of people are gonna like. Here is a cow and calf. This is the one that is marked Minnesota Stoneware Company, Red Wing, Minnesota. Really, really nice cow and calf. Um, a little nick right here. This ear's got a little problem, but overall, this is a fantastic piece of Red Wing. Great piece. Show the bottom, oh, sure. Okay, it says 1883-1906 Red Wing on them right there. Somebody wrote that there. Okay. All right, here is a nice six inch panel bowl. Really nice bowl with advertising from Union Grove, Wisconsin. Here's another of the big five gallon shoulder jugs with advertising, Steuben County, Chicago. Really nice. There's that little Nick, can you see it there? Yep. Otherwise, she's pretty good. Really nice. We don't know who made this for sure. I don't know, it looks Red Wing to me, but 
You know, I have I have a my my pick would be Red Wing, but I'm not sure. It does have a handle on it. Um, kind of a neat piece. Little bitty spot right there. We're being a little fussy when we're picking that kind of stuff out, but um, I want everybody happy. So, okay. Cover weight, ten gallon. Really nice. Good condition, really good. Okay, first on the five gallon leaf churn, show that if you can. I'm gonna show the lid here is really nice. I'm gonna set it down right here. Jane, you got it, good. Okay, I'm gonna pick up this five, really nice leaf. Really good piece. Look at there, Backstamp Red Wing Stoneware Company. I noticed this earlier, see that? That is that something that happened when they made it. It's nothing. So I believe there's a little bitty pit right there. We probably shouldn't even be mentioning those kinds of things because they're not big deal. But fantastic item here. Love it. Really good item. The lid's got a tiny little. Man, that's another one of those right things there. that nobody really cares. Nope. So just want you to know it's there. Okay, now we're gonna do the four gallon. Here's your four gallon lid. And your four. That is made that way. That is made that way. Now the four is not stamped, but folks, really nice. Good little, good little churn. Jan, you want to hand me the lid quick? Thank you. All right, now we got the three gallon lid here. Okay. Now right, here's the three. Really nice condition. There you go. All right. Up to the top end there, Chase. Again, Jan and Chase are here. I think you've heard Jan. You haven't heard Chase yet, but Chase doesn't know this stuff quite yet, but he's fascinated with it, especially when we start talking the kind of value. He goes, okay, I want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a five-inch. This is the gray, is this the gray line mold? No, this is not the gray line mold, is it? No. With the blue bands. That's a little five inch bowl, good and clean, really nice. Here's a great two pound butter crock, Milrose, Wisconsin advertising, really nice. Okay, inside's really good. There's your bottom. Here, get into some country again, Norwegian, Scandinavian, whichever you want to call it. We didn't know what to call it. It's either a candle box or a document, document box. But there's your date. Okay. All the way around, it's got some pretty good writing on it. There's your marking. That lid is really wonderful. Do you want to open the lid up? I did already. Oh. Were you not paying attention? I was. Yeah, I know. So. <laughs> <laughs> I love my brain. So. All right. Not sure about this. It's good and early, I can tell you that. It's a little hanging cabinet. Jan, if you could do me a favor. What? Open the door for me. Sure. That way I keep hold of it. Okay. It's like it has some little plate rails. Plate, plate rails or something, and then like maybe a fork rail or something, where you stick your fork down through here, utensils. Mm -hmm. So, guessing. Does that stand? No. No. Good little, I, I'm assuming this is a warmer, but what I like about it is look at the heart design that punched in. Really, really cool. Now it has a, turn that, it's got a thing. And I think what they did is they put coal in that or something that they could keep warm and, and uh, hard on that side. Really cute, really nice. Okay. Pantry boxes, pantry boxes, firk and things like that. We've got them here, and they're, most of them have the original paint on them. Look at the size of this one. Jan, you want to grab the lid for me? Thank you. It's got a good, thick bottom to it. Blue paint. Good surface. Really nice. And the lid is really nice and thick, too. Yes. I mean, this is a, this is a good pantry box. over top of a 
Okay, I'm a cat. No, you're good. We're good. I'm past everything now. So here's a red one. Not quite as big, but a fairly big box. Um, you see it here? Okay. There you go. Again, another thick bottom here. It looks like there is a marking in the bottom somehow, probably who made it. Oh, there's a stamp. Yep, there's a stamp inside there. We don't have that in the listing, so guess what? Those who watch the video have an advantage. Yay. Here's that inside of the lid. Okay, really nice. This is a very nice pantry box, Red. I'll get it bigger. Okay, another pantry box. Oh, look at there, the lid popped right off. Okay, there's the lid right there. There you go, honey. Here's the bottom, really nice. And there's your marking, Daniel, I think it's Gregan. And it's in Wilton, wherever Wilton is from. Wilton where? New Hampshire maybe? Okay, an egg crate, star egg carriers and tray. Okay, a nice little egg crate. Gives you directions to do with eggs right there. Okay, crescent stove. This is a small stove here. I'm going to leave it there. Chase, if you can go right over to it. It's got some utensils and things with it. I'm going to pull this plate off here so people can see this right here. Right here, this has been replaced with something, uh, been fixed right here. Just want you to know. Okay. Okay. Right next to it is another one. You could if you want, honey. Okay, this, this here goes here. Okay, and this here goes over here. And it doesn't, I, I'm not going to be able to see that, but it's all here. Every part is here. So this would stand up like this. I got to get it on now. There you go. All right. Really nice stove. This is a Donna. Dyna. Dyna. Bank. Mechanical. This is a short sleeve version. There's also a long sleeve version. We'll have that later in the sale. Um, good old bank. I think this is cute right here. This is really adorable. Yes. Don't bury your dead. We remove them free. Nothing but steel. Sanitary trucks used. Lincoln and Norfolk, Nebraska advertising. Great little match holder. Cedar Bluffs, Wahoo, Lincoln. This is a Nebraska advertising piece. Mallard Valley, Ashland. We, we pay collect calls, 1886 to 1936. Really neat. This is really neat. I like that. So. All right, we're heading over here to this side. Number 97. Production Credit Association. Number 96. Number Enamel sign. Now, I think this is a two-sided sign, so I'll hold it up like that. Okay. okay. And then this side. Okay. Okay, really nice sign. Okay, Chico's, the new Spanish peanut. Has the holder in the back, a lot of times that's missing. The bottom's marked, the glass is there, everything's right on it, so really nice item. Dad's root beer. Single-sided there. Okay. okay, this is OXO cube. Um, these are, aren't they beef cubes? Like a, yeah, like a bullion cube. I think a bullion cu cube. This was an enamel sign, by the way. Uh, a uh, enamel wear sign. Great piece of stoneware. I've had people tell me this is Red Wing and other people tell me it's not. Um, I don't care. It's a great piece of stoneware. Fresh oysters. It's in mint shape. Fabulous piece here. Um, that's a drying crack. It's 
from the factory. Really, really great piece. Um, I know my wife loves it. I think she really thinks the world of it. Yeah, she, she thinks that's a really cool thing. So, all right, we've got the Red Wing all sponge, all brown pitcher. Really nice condition. And here's the same pitcher with the all blue sponge. Okay, here's a seven, I believe this is a seven inch bowl, am I correct, Jan? Says yep, seven. says seven. Seven inch bowl, and really nice condition from Racine, Wisconsin. Okay, here's a nice, this is a seven inch too, isn't it? Seven inch casserole. Yeah. This is from Dundee, Minnesota. Compliments, Dundee Cooperative. It's a nice casserole. Really nice condition, lid's good, great piece. Now we're getting into some of the, uh, um, I want to call them pantry jars. Okay, here's the lid to the one gallon. Really nice lid. Jan, I'm going to hand it to you. Okay, there's the rest of it. Really nice. Condition's really good. Great piece. Now here's the 10 pound. Here's a lid, a little roughness on the lid here. It's on that inner rim, not a big deal. Uh, really nice lid. And that over Jan, here's your bottom. All the way around, nice bottom. Now there's a little Couple of three lines right there, but I think that I don't think they're hair lines. They they may be a little bit. Show that in there, but it, it's 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 not a big deal. So hand me that lid, dear. Thank you. Notice after thirty four years, I still call her dear. You better. <laughs> All right, here's the uh, five pound pantry. There is a little nick right there. Pretty good lid though on the inside. I don't know why that's in there. You can have that too, Jan, lucky devil. All right, he, here's the pantry. It's got a little nick there. And look at there. It's got advertising from Cologne, Minnesota. Really nice. Great piece. I think this is info about the advertising. Okay, info about, we'll put that right in there. People can look at that. Okay. Now we got the three pound. I always thought the three pound was kind of a tough one. Especially the lid, I'm guessing. But here's a three pound. I mean, of course, it's not as tough as the much larger ones. But nice little piece. Really nice and clean. I think it's harder to find than the five. I would three. agree. Yep. I would, I would think so. Okay, here's the one pound. Uh, quality tells cash, grocery, and prices sell. The lid is good. Come out of Wayne and Sue's house. There's that little spot. I'm guessing it was made in the manufacturing that way. So, but it's there. Ah, back to some Roseville Juvenile Santa. I can't stress how hard Santa stuff is. So um, that's why we're starting out with one of them each. They're really hard to get. Here's a nice little mug, bottom marked. Okay. Uh, okay, I gotta remember this, okay. Here's a tea set. In, this is called what? Goose? Uh, duck. Duck. This is called duck. Here's a tea set. Now, we didn't ever notice this. There's just no way. But Sue told me right away, hey, this has been cut off. It's been like ground. It's been ground off right there. Oh, um, a little nick in the ground. We didn't take a picture of it because we're pretty sure the picture wouldn't show anything. I mean, you, you wouldn't be able to tell. So, um, But it has been ground a little there. Sue told us that. Now here's a perfect sugar. Um, this is probably a pretty good piece too. And here's the creamer here. And there's just a tiniest little nick on the spout there. Just very, very minor. So great set. It's really a good set. Okay. Here you got a pair of pitchers. Notice these are, none of these are marked. So I'm guessing they're earlier. Be my guess. Here's your other side of them. 
That, that's just me speculating. So um, here's another one. This is the mug, and you're getting the side pour creamer with it. I hope you can see that. Really good condition. It's kind of cute creamer. Side pour. Okay. Now that's duck with boots. This is duck with boots. See the duck's got boots. See? Okay. Got a hat on, too. And this is uh, just a bowl, they call this. Good. Kind of an unusual bowl shape. And then is this... Oh, these two are together, aren't they? This bowl... And the baby dish. Yes. Okay. Or baby plate, do they call it, I think? I think so. Yes. Okay. All right, here is a, a pitcher, duck with boots, and another duck with boots. You get them both, one money there. Okay, now we're going to get into some firkins. This is a good blue firkin. Look at this. Look at the straps. Wow. Really, really nice. You know what you can hear if you, yep. you can tighten them, those up. Tighten yep. them and yep. Those aren't hard to tighten. Off we should probably take that lid off. Nice, nice piece here. Good early. Show the inside of the lid. Already yeah. did. Oh, okay, dear. Okay. Here's a really nice, this is a smaller size, really cute. Red firkin. Red's a good color, just like blue. The straps here. Wow, really nice. Um, Jason, you want to get on the inside of that? You could. And then there's your outside. Really nice, Firkin. Really good. Look at how cute this is. <laughs> this is really adorable. Just absolutely adorable. Strapped there. Um, a nice two piece lid. There you go. Really, really nice. That's really cute. That is really cute. Just really adorable. My wife is sitting there looking at me like, yes, it is. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, here you go. Here's, here's a neat piece. This is a barber set. A shaving kit. Shaving like kit. Now, this doesn't fit inside. This you have to set outside. This does, it will fit inside. Now, you got some razors in here. Going to get those with it, but look how it works. So I'm guessing maybe it was a travel one. Could be. You know, maybe. Um, really, really neat. That that that's some good early stuff. Good fun stuff. Like that kind of stuff. And here is a I would call this a toy cupboard, early toy cupboard. Um, this was the one that was dovetailed, was it not, Jan? Yes. I yeah. Think the drawers are. Yeah. Drawers are dovetailed. This is a good early little uh, a toy cupboard. Look at that. Nice early surface. Really, really cute. Some detail, you know, right yep. around here. Yep. So around the drawers. Cute little shelf. Yep. All right. And that is the end of the second video of the Wayne and Sue Chapman and the Bob and Yvonne Rowe Collection. May 4th, Rock Falls Community Center, a favorite place that everybody loves to go to. We'll see you there.